Now, local sports from KYMA News 11. I mean, it's just a lot of extra work that you've never really had to do before. Uh, paying a lot of attention to detail as you as you do things. Uh, it's just kept us really busy and there's no downtime at all. But at the end of the day, we're thankful now that we're at the point to where it's game week and we're excited to get after it. Yuma Catholic football returns since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Welcome back, everyone. The Shamrocks are coming off quite the rebuilding effort back in 2019 when a number of underclassmen stepped up, especially on the defensive side of the football, where the Rocks were able to make a push into the state playoffs. This time around, the young defense is another year older and expected to make a lot of noise this fall. On offense, head coach Rhett Stallworth's son Richard steps into the starting quarterback position for the first time. As a sophomore, he'll have a number of talented skill position help to go to, including senior wide receiver Jonah Leon, who will also lead the Rocks secondary. News 11 Sports caught up with the Rocks earlier this week, and considering the situation of a condensed seven-game season, Coach Stallworth emphasized to us that the margin for error for being in position to chase after a state title is all the more slimmer this time around. Well, I don't think there's any settling in at this point. It's, it's, uh, you definitely have to have a sense of urgency because the playoffs are going to be just around the corner with a shortened season. Uh, there's not much room for error. So you've got to do enough early on to make sure that not only you're securing a playoff spot, but even home field advantage as well is one of the things we're looking for. So uh, we, we have to get off to a fast start, definitely. Like we mentioned earlier, Yuma Catholic opening up their season tonight on the road against Phoenix Christian, and we just got a final score. YC wins 28-20. to Congratulations to the Rocks. And just a friendly reminder, Friday Night Lights will return for a condensed season starting next Friday night. Staying with YC, the volleyball program is seeking an early season trifecta. Since their tough opening game loss, they've won two consecutive matches. We bring you a highlight rewind from Carol Oden, McElhaney, Jim, the fans are there. Coach Williamson getting her troops riled up for this one against a tough Parker Bronx first set. Rian Martinez drops down the killer ace. Rocks up one late in the set. Then off to Martinez serve, the Bronx trying to counter but the Rocks putting up a good wall on the net. They go up two at this particular point. And then YC's Emma Gwynn sets for Rory Martinez, who lets her serve. Hear the roar. YC a point away from taking this set. Next play, Rory getting her number call. The super senior steps up and takes care of business, closing out the first set. Kill shot would give YC the early advantage. They would wind up winning this one in four sets. And finally, the San Diego Padres vying to win their first playoff series since their last World Series run in 1998. Bottom five, San Diego breaking the scoreless tie with this Eric Hosmer double to left center, allowing Fernando Tatis Jr. to score the first run of the game. Padres up 1-0. Bottom seven, Padres trying to extend their lead on this Manny Machado high chopper to third causing Tommy Edmond to hurry up on the throw, and that would allow the runner to score at home, taking the 3-0 lead for the Padres. They would take this one in a shutout victory, winning their first series in more than two decades. Congratulations to San Diego. That's going to do it for this round of sports.